So if we tap on this one and we go to takes, we can then bring it back to the first take, or we can go to the second take. You can actually do multi-take recording. It was a feature added back in, oh, I wanna say version 2.2 .2 that it was added in, around the same time as Alchemy Synth. So what you can do, if you go into your recording here, you've got a audio recorder track. So any of your microphones, any of your audio recorder type tracks. Under your track settings, under recording, see I've got multi-take recording. You can turn this on and off. And what it does is you can actually record the same section again and again. And instead of going over the top of it, it will actually record a second tape. Let's show you what we mean. So let's turn it off. And if I recorded on this section right here, <laughs> mic plugged in so I'm not recording anything but we've done that what is it going to do well if we come back out to here it has overwritten that original track with whatever we record now we can get it back because we can just move that out of the way and we've got non-destructive editing so we can bring it back no problems uh, we'll just undo all that but what Sion's saying is you can actually do multiple takes so say you were trying to get this vocal right if you turn multi-take recording on let's hit record again and take a look at what happens <laughs> We'll stop that there. We'll come back to here. Now, look at this. Isn't this interesting? We've got this bit here that has a number two next to it. So this is saying that this is the second take on this particular track. So if we tap on this one and we go to takes, we can then bring it back to the first take or we can go to the second take. Now, the reason I don't use this and I comp my vocals by just recording them on separate tracks is I find this kind of clunky. I find that you have to come back in here and if you want to chop between two different takes, you have to come in here, you have to split it like this and you go, all right, I want to take one on that part and then we'll go here, we'll, oh, it's gone. See, I think this is the problem I had is that it didn't really play nicely. If you were recording everything in one big thing, it would be fine. But see how the takes option has gone away from this second half? because I split it at that point, it's gone back to just take one and there's no way to get take two back. So I don't use it because I find it clunky, but play around with it. It's definitely if you're recording a whole vocal take, if, if you see like me, I record in chunks. So when I'm recording, I'll record verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus two, and usually do those in separate chunks, which is why you see my vocals are all segmented. If you recorded the whole thing, or say you had a guitar solo, that would probably be a better use case. And you just recorded it and you just wanted to play it and record it five times and then go back and find the best one. Yeah, sure, multi-take recording might be the best option. But for me, I don't love it. But it's there and it's worth experimenting with if you want to try it.